Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Random Call Sign. Welcome to a new video. Today, I'm going to talk about an app or program that everybody should have in sim racing. For most sims, there's always this set of apps or UI options that are recommended. All of them, or at least most of them, are only available within a specific sim, such like Race Essentials for Assetto Corsa or Kutu apps for iRacing. But rarely there are those apps that are absolutely recommended while being cross-platform at the same time. Well, today the subject of the video is Crew Chief, which is a program that I've been using for the last month or so. A lot of people asked about it, thinking it's an app for a Seto Corsa or a spotter for iRacing. So it means Crew Chief is not really popular when it really should be. So what is Crew Chief exactly? In essence, Crew Chief is not only what it states in the box, a Crew Chief that tells you the information about the status of the car and race, such as damage, star status, fuel left, but also comes with an integrated spotter that works with all of the sims that I've tried, in this case, Assetto Corsa, iRacing, as well as R3e. While the menus seem overwhelming in the beginning after your installation, it's actually outstandingly easy to set up. It's basically downloads, install the application, download the required files by pressing the three highlighted buttons, wait for the program to restart a few times, then it is really ready to go. To activate the crew chief is as simple as just selecting the sim you will be playing. The chief and spotter will reply, indicating that the app is ready to go. Radio check. Spotter, radio check. All of the crew chief replies, warnings can be customized in the preference, so if you're not wanting to hear some alarms such as oil temperatures or damage, in the preferences you can change that, but also configure what are the conditions of these alarms when they may sound. There's plenty of options and customizability to make this app suited for your needs. There are some voice packs available in Crew Chief to make it more customizable. You can select a name of which the Crew Chief will call you, and there are plenty of those. There are also a few spotter voices to choose from in the pack. Some of them are really better than others. My preference of spotter is a voice called Claire. She has a focused, suiting voice. But there's also a particular amusing voice, which is Ross's voice, that sounds like a pilot coming out of Top Gun. Radio check. Show me the money, baby. The crew chief voice is named Jim, and oftentimes it may sound distant or calm, but that doesn't mean it won't give you some sass if you mess up. There's even some options to enable swear words in the menus if you are so inclined. At the moment, there's only one crew chief voice, which is Jim, that I just talked about. Maybe a few more to come in the future. Besides the aforementioned damage indications, there are also other extremely useful informations given by the crew chief that will extend your tactical knowledge of the track. He will be able to tell you when the leader of the race or any other relevant pilot to your position will pit, if they suffered an accident, if there are gaps increasing or decreasing between uh, yourself and the guy before you or behind you. Most of all of these informations in the automatic prompts that can be configured to suit your requirements. Other important track informations are also given, such as track and ambient temperature, also flags such yellow, blue flags or accidents in specific corners. It's worth noticing that a lot of these tracks will have their corn names identified, making all of this quite immersive. To add to the immersion, voice recognition is available. This is the hardest part of the install in my opinion, but even so it isn't hard at all to do as it requires to go to an external page that will open automatically in your browser to install the necessary Windows packages to make it work. Be aware that Microsoft's page will have you uh, select a lot of voice packages to choose from, but in reality you'll only need uh, two or three, mainly the US or UK packages, maybe other English variations, because I'm really assuming here that certain accents will be better recognized with those specific regional packages. The voice recognition has plenty of voice commands and can be activated in plenty of ways, such as all always on. You can hold the button, hold the button and release, or always on that is only activated when you speak the word chief. The voice recognition itself might be a little bit of a hit or a miss, as it will only detect the commands if you speak them in a calm, steady voice. This is the best way you can have detection success. This isn't really a limitation of the application itself, but the limitation on the Microsoft proprietary voice software. 
the voice commands don't have many variations, but the ones you would use the most most likely are there. You can try to mix and match some of the commands, but they won't really work. For example, you can ask for a damage report by saying damage report or how's my car. These are detected as per command list. But if you ask them how's the car, which essentially is the same thing as how's my car, this command isn't really accepted. So really memorize a few voice commands and just stick to them. If you need any help regarding this software, the Crew Chief Forum has plenty of info regarding it and also an active helpful community. If you want to know more specificities of this software, the forum is a pool of knowledge and they will help you for sure. But anyways guys, in my opinion, this is really one of those softwares that you really should have in your sim racing roster download it i think you won't regret it it's very easy to install just like i said it will work in plenty of sim racing games most likely all the sim racing games that you'll be playing uh, just try it if you don't like it uh, you can basically uninstall it if you like the video don't forget to press like and subscribe also if you found it interesting share and also leave me a comment in the comment box below once again, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Well done, Ricardo. Clear all round. You've just done a 121, 156.